Dave reveals the true Hollywood story of a super freak. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! What? Slap! <laughs> I'm Rick Dang, bitch! Chappelle Show, new episode tomorrow at 10.30. The queer guys got their shot, now it's the straight dude's turn. Straight guys don't usually collect teacups. Straight plan for the gay man, a fabulous, I mean, kick-ass Comedy Central makeover event, premiering February 23rd at 10. Straight up! Norman. I'm all about life these days. Cute kid. I'm hanging up the sickle, my pasty friend. Celebrate good times. Come on. Reaper? Bass. A better beer for a better world. Bass. A little bit of better. Axe effect. Axe deodorant body spray. Hey, do the impression of the foreman. Uh, yeah, do on. it, do it. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Do it. Get up there. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for showing up. This is the work site. If you don't work, get out of my site. What are these girders? Pick these things up. Get them out of here. You, put them down. What did I say? Put them down. Up, down. For Pete's sake, you're driving me up a wall we ain't even built yet. Introducing the powerful Ram Cummins 600. He's right behind me, isn't he? It's amazing how 600 foot-pounds of class-dominating torque can really sneak up on you. Heart disease, the number one killer of women. There's no warning. The day that I checked my blood pressure and I was at stroke level, I didn't know it. And now, the breakthrough heart test that could predict your risk earlier than ever before. There are a couple of flaws. Like who benefits and who won't. The test, as it exists today, has some serious drawbacks. The concept is great. But how effective is it? And how can it work for you tonight at 11 on CBS 5? My mom called me the day she died. And she, she was crying and she said, yeah, your grandmother died today of lung cancer. And I didn't know she had lung cancer, so it kind of surprised me. But I couldn't cry. I just, it just didn't come to me to cry. Because the fact was, I was mad at her. Like, I was mad at her for starting smoking in the beginning, for letting it, like, take over life. She was pretty much a chain smoker. I don't want my life to end the way hers did.